grace, love. These are the greatest forms of bravery. And if you listen closely, I'm sure you'll agree that these two things don't come naturally to you or me. Because most battles that come my way are coming from what some people say. You're not talented enough. You're not strong enough. Who do you think you are? You'll never change. You've gone too far. And no matter how many times I say I'm sorry, it seems to be the same old story. These battles like gossip, these battles like rumors, these battles like negativity and accusers. And I get my grace takes bravery and guts. Because when I'm hurt like this, it would take everything I got. I think often, is grace even possible? Can I even give it? Yes, because Jesus did. I remember what he did for me when he died alone on a tree. And he did this when I was the one saying empty words. And I was the one dishing out all the hurt. I would say I loved him. Break promises repeatedly. I would say it was for him, but then turn my back on him conveniently. I took and took and took from him and screamed at him when things didn't go my way. And yet, he gave his grace by giving his life away. The ultimate form of bravery was when he said we were still worth it on Calvary. His love runs so deep and his grace is enough. When I pass that grace, that, oh, that's when Jesus shows up. I am brave because my Jesus is brave.